in this short video we're going to show you how a PC can still operate after removing this, the BIOS chip. Amazing, but it works. Now let's power the PC up. Let's touch our power switch. As you can see it's quite an old Pentium, it's a P3, we're running at 500 megahertz. About 10 years old now, worth nothing, but still functional for um, light office tasks and internet use. But um, it's retired, I don't use it anymore. Uh, we should have Windows loading up now. There we go. You can't hear our sound. Um, sound card being removed. What we're going to do in a minute now? We're going to remove the BIOS chip, and we'll show you the functions of the PC still working. As you can see, PC um, is all working fine. Let's just move the mouse just to show you. That's all function. Control panel. There we go. What we're going to do now, next step is let's remove one of the main components of a motherboard which will be this, the board bars chip and amazingly the PC will still function let's show you let's um, put this down gently now let's get on with the removal of the um, bars chip my extractor tool. Careful. Oh, here we go. Chip removed. We still have Windows desktop. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, there's a chip removed. There's the empty slot. Now here's the test. Does the mouse work? Oh. There we go. Let's click control panel. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Uh, let's look at my computer. There we go. And this PC, as you can see, is still fully functional. And that is minus this BIOS chip. Now the main job of this chip is when you first turn on your PC, you've got to check all the hardware. Make sure the hardware is functioning right. If it is, it will um, it will start it will look for its startup files from the hard drive. Once the Windows operating system is loaded into memory, the boss's job then is completed. It will then pass on the control work, or all the work, to the processor. And as you can see, it just shows you it will work without it. Now obviously, if I turn this machine on now, well off, sorry, which we'll do, throw it down. As I explained earlier, it's main function. I used to check the PC when we first turned it on. No. You see look, a lot's coming on the motherboard. You ain't gonna get nothing on the screen. What we'll do, power it down again. Let's hold down for five seconds and it'll turn off. Right. What we'll do now, we'll reinsert the chip. Press down it. Press our power switch. 
as you see now, reserve um, bias. With a bit of luck, she'll power up. There we go. Now you've seen what most people would think was impossible. The removal of the main component of the motherboard and the PC still functioning.